I'll tell you, when Donald Trump said that he could literally, you know, stand down Fifth Avenue and shoot someone and get away with it, he was so correct. Like, that's the truest statement that Donald Trump has ever said, because even though he treats his own supporters terribly, they will never abandon him. There's a certain share of the population in this country who will never abandon Donald Trump no matter what, even if he personally abuses them. I mean, we saw last week at a rally that was held at an airfield in Omaha, Nebraska, hundreds of his supporters were left stranded in freezing cold weather while they were waiting on buses to pick them up and take them back to their vehicles. Some had to walk three miles because they couldn't take waiting any longer, and others literally had to be taken by ambulance. It was that cold. And guess what? This happened again, but this time in Rome, Georgia, because his supporters were once again left stranded after a rally while they were waiting on buses to transport them back to their cars. So Trump didn't care. He got in, did the rally, and left. But believe it or not, that's like the least bad thing that he's done to his supporters in terms of things that he's done to harm his own supporters, because the worst thing that he has done is expose his supporters to COVID-19. Because he's holding these rallies, uh, I believe on Monday, he did 10 events in a day, holding these rallies where people are in these really large crowds, packed tightly together, nobody's wearing masks, or a few people are wearing masks, they're cheering loudly, spreading germs, and guess what's happening? They are being exposed to COVID-19. And you'd think that after one of his loyalists, Herman Cain, showed up to a rally, contracted COVID-19, presumably at that rally, and died, he would take this more seriously. Acknowledge that he should at least care for the people who support him the most. I mean, he doesn't care about taking this virus seriously because he doesn't care about Americans. But the people who support you, you know, in theory, you'd care more about their health and well-being, but he doesn't care. So the question is, how do we quantify the damage that these rallies are causing? How many people is he exposing to COVID-19 with these rallies? Well, the researchers at Stanford University attempted to find this out, and they have determined that it is a lot of people. Thousands are being exposed to COVID-19, and hundreds have died as a direct result of his rallies. So as Jordan Williams of The Hill reports, a new study from Stanford University found that 18 of President Trump's campaign rallies have led to over 30,000 confirmed coronavirus cases and likely led to over 700 deaths. Researchers examined rallies held between June 20th and September 22nd, only three of which were held indoors. The researchers then compared the spread of the virus in the counties that held the rallies to counties that were on similar case trajectories before the rallies occurred. The authors concluded that the rallies increased subsequent cases of COVID-19 by over 250 infections per 100,000 residents. They found that the events led to over 30,000 new cases in the country and likely resulted in over 700 deaths, but recognized that the deaths were not necessarily among attendees. Quote, our analysis strongly supports the warnings and recommendations of public health officials concerning the risk of COVID-19 transmission at large group gatherings, particularly when the degree of compliance with guidelines concerning the use of masks and social distancing is low, the authors wrote in the paper. The communities in which Trump rallies took place paid a high price in terms of disease and death. The study was published to preprint platform SSRN on Friday. So using data from uh, cities where the rallies were held to other cities on similar trajectories, they were able to extrapolate and estimate that hundreds of people died because of Trump rallies. And this isn't super surprising. And sure, they're not directly confirming that these cases are linked to Donald Trump. But the data is sound because when you look at these videos and you, you just see them, it's common sense. Like, of course, more and more people are going to contract COVID-19, especially assuming that Trump supporters aren't taking this seriously to begin with. They're not wearing masks. They're not, uh, you know, social dis distancing. They're, they're pretending like it's not a thing. They think that it's exaggerated. They think that the number of deaths is being um, overinflated when in actuality it's probably um, a lot larger. And it's just, you know, you'd think, again, that he would care the most about the people who are the most loyal to him, but he doesn't. And he genuinely enjoys these rallies, and he thinks that this is going to help him because it shows how enthusiastic his supporters are in comparison with, you know, Joe Biden supporters who aren't very enthusiastic. Look at his crowd sizes. So he wants to try to gin up some sort of excitement, knowing that he needs anything to help him cross that finish line. And as a result, his own supporters are paying because of it. But I mean, I, it, they're willingly exposing themselves, right? By going to these rallies where nobody's social distancing, when you know you're going to be in a crowd, I mean, what do you expect? I mean, I, uh, 
this is exactly what you can expect. Play stupid games, win stupid prizes. You're showing up to these rallies with a bunch of MAGA chuds who think that the virus is probably a hoax, and you're surprised that you're exposed? I mean, it's sad. Like, I don't want people to have to take the virus seriously only after they've gotten it or know a loved one who died because of it. But unfortunately, some people, like, they don't wake up until it's too late. And Trump is endangering his own supporters for political purposes. And, you know, it's disgusting, but it's their own fault too, right? You can't only blame Donald Trump because they are willingly showing up to these events, even though Donald Trump is leaving them stranded and exposing them to COVID-19 and they're exposing each other to COVID-19. I mean, it's like they're suckers for punishment and they like it. So whatever. I mean, anything for Daddy Trump. This is what happens when you're in a cult. You do anything for dear leader, even if it means that you're hurting yourself physically, directly. You could support the Humanist Report at patreon.com slash humanist report. But trust me, I'd have way more supporters on Patreon if that was my podcast. Sad. <laughs>